we have a strategy that's based on education, on innovation, and on infrastructure. Very simple. Education because it's our calling card all around the world. I've spent most of my life in the private sector. I've done business all over the world. Everywhere I've been, people know Massachusetts because of our concentration of brain power. And then innovation because there are a handful of industries that depend on a well-educated, well-prepared workforce, just like you. Biotech, life sciences, IT, uh, you know, financial services, clean tech for that matter. EBSCO is right in that sweet spot. In 1996, we licensed content from under 10,000 publications, and we had 28 products on our new online research service EBSCO host. Today, 15 years later, we have over 100,000 publications, over 400 databases on EBSCO host, and it's the world's uh, most used research service and in, uh, institutions. I, I want to just take a couple of minutes to reflect on what you all have accomplished here uh, since we've moved to Ipswich. We moved here in 1996. We purchased the buildings in 1995 and renovated them now 15 years ago. And, uh, in 1996, we had just over 100 employees. Today, we have over 1,250 employees, and we're still growing. And we actually have 90 new job openings today. So it's just kind of amazing to me to reflect that we have almost as many new job openings today as we had employees 15 years ago. So that's a tribute to what everyone's done here to grow the company. I do want to just repeat something, though, that Tim said inside in answer to a question I asked him, why, how are you doing this double-digit growth year after year after year? And the first thing he said was you. He said there are exceptional people that you've been, he's been able to attract, you have all been able to attract here to EBSCO, and you continue to do that, and that's incredibly exciting. He had a couple of other reasons, and then he came back again to you. So you should know that even when he is not in your presence, uh, your leadership uh, honors you. And I'm proud of what this company is doing, and I wanted to come here and tell you that. Because you are right in the sweet spot of the strategy that we've been driving for the last few years here in the Commonwealth, not just to help us through the worst economy in living memory, but to leave a better Commonwealth than we found. We had two buildings at the time, the two that you see, and they were about 40% full. Now we have four buildings on this campus, or plus the uh, parking garage, and just purchased a building in, uh, in Topsfield. Back in 1996, we didn't, uh, we didn't have a bridge across the river. You didn't have a beautiful river walk along the river nor a mural depicting the uh, history of Ipswich. We worked together when we moved in with the town of Ipswich in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts to uh, provide an easement across our property. And uh, the partnership with the town and the Commonwealth started at that time. In the last 15 years, it's flourished, strengthening even more so in the last uh, several years. And we uh, stand ready to try to continue to grow and, and bring uh, more jobs to the Commonwealth. The other thing that EBSCO is well known for, and deservedly so, is being a great, great citizen of the community, whether it be creating partnership with the Riverwalk or its partnership with local schools or the idea that we could advance energy and alternative energy in this site in such an aggressive way. It's true. You can have economic growth, you can have innovation, and you can harmonize those things with the community in which you live. And that truly is equally as important and impressive as all of the other things.